Our team coverage continues now with more on the symptoms and who's most at risk. Fox Carolina's Jarvis Robertson has been speaking with a doctor for most of the afternoon. He's in our newsroom with more about what this doctor is telling us. Well, Cody Tour, just hearing about the possibility of coronavirus cases being here in the upstate was a bit unsettling for some. I did speak with one doctor this afternoon who says don't be afraid to do things like sanitizing your workspace or other surfaces in your home. Uh, and again, job just to keep things simple, like coughing in the crease of your arm, just so you're not spreading those germs around. Sore throat, runny nose, cough, congestion, fever, chills, body aches. Are some of the symptoms of the coronavirus. The disease can lead to severe pneumonia. Among the population, elderly patients can be at a greater risk of serious complications. You know, if they're diabetic, they have heart disease, they're dialysis patients, they don't have a lot of reserve, they get sick, they get sick quick. Even more so than children. For the most part, children, if you think about the population, are generally more healthy than elderly people. Dr. Montagano says spreading of the virus is quite simple if someone has tested positive. They sneeze or cough, those infectious droplets can be spread into the atmosphere, usually within a six foot radius. However, not everyone is getting too worked up about it. I think it's something to be like concerned about, but I do think to a certain point it's been blown out of proportion. Jacob is keeping a watchful eye on how it's spreading, but is also practicing proper hygiene. Constantly washing your hands. I think one thing too is like kind of like self quarantine and washing them with soap for at least 20 seconds or using hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. The research shows that it can live anywhere from two to nine days on a surface, just depending on the specific conditions or environments. If you're wondering about your pets, here's what Dr. Montagano has to say. I think in the coronavirus family that there is that potential for transfer, but I don't think there's been any documented cases. Now, if you are experiencing symptoms, you are urged to reach out, reach out to your doctor. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Jarvis Robertson, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news. Jarvis, thank you.